could hear me before, but as I was walking out of the, the lighthouse there, I said I was going to go to another spot called Pulpit Rocks. Apparently this is meant to be better than the city rocks, I was told by the young fella back in camp there. So, um, yeah, weather's not changing, it's still shit. Um, but it's just, it's only like one and a half k's off the main road here, so I'll just call in there and have a look at that. I think this is where the fishermen have all their poles set into the rock and everything, and there might be some um, static lines as well, so they don't fall off. But yeah, we're just just up here, so we might as well have a look while we're driving past. Then we might start sort of heading back towards um, Ben Boyd Towers. Um, yeah, just sort of see. Might check out one other camp spot while I'm here, just for future references, so you guys can see it as well. Heading into Pulpit Rocks. I remembered I had a raincoat, so a little bit smarter of me, isn't it? The rain will go away now, which is probably a good thing. All right, here we are, pulpit rock. A couple of guys fishing down there. We have a look. This looks pretty cool. That's where I was just standing there. Watch these, watch these waves go up this rock formation down here. When you get a massive swell, it just looks so cool. Okay, well, I'm guessing this is pulpit rock, not what's over there, but here we are now. It's not bad. A couple of guys fishing down here, I'll go see them shortly. I'll put my drone up by, there's no rain, so we can capture. Trawl away out there, cruising around. Thank you. 
told that was all um, points, you know, like uh, all their fishing rod holes have been epoxied into the rock. And there's some of that over here, I'll show you that now. Now, there has been some massive waves come smashing on this bit here. It's very wet. A little bit slippery. You can see there, a couple of rod holders there on that edge. A couple up there further. Imagine being caught in that bit right there, right now. It'd be like a washing machine, eh? There's another bit over here where these people are fishing. There's actually like a gap through the whole rock there, which is actually pretty cool. Pretty sure I got all that on drone anyway, so. All right, I chucked a couple of pies in the travel buddy before. They're probably still an hour away from being right, but head back towards uh, Ben Boyd and that and see how the day's progressing. Like it's, I think it's nearly two o'clock. Um, have some lunch and might just get another camp spot somewhere in the national park and I'll tell you one thing wish I had to put this Raincoat on a little bit earlier. Hasn't been a drop of rain since I put it on. Crazy, eh? There's the old girl. Okay, well, so just leaving our pulpit rocks. It's um, definitely a spectacular spot. And this whole area, it's blowing me away. Like, you know, I used to live down in Mullacoota as a kid and never really been in here, obviously, you know, like, we were probably sleeping all the time because we were in the car, traveling around, but, um, yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's just spectacular coastline. Couple of kangaroos. turned off onto Binatangbi Road. So that takes down to the Binatangbi Bay campsite. I'm not sure how far away it is, it's probably like four or five k's, but we'll head down there and check that out now. Okay, we're at a bit of Tangby Bay campground. They've done a lot of work in here, I'll give them credit for that. All designated camping areas here, like away from the road where you've got to walk in. There's heaps of them around, as you can see. Got toilets, got tank water, fresh water. You've got electric barbecues over there. You've got your toilet block just here. And there's numerous ones of these around the place. Like, I don't know how many caravan spots they are, but I'll have a look at that shortly. But yeah, it's very nice. Very nice campground. Yeah, there's um, a fair few camp trailers and caravan sections. Like, it was really good. It's very well organised and this is probably one of the, the better national park setups I've seen, to tell the truth. Yeah. Well done, Parks in New South Wales. After you charge way too fucking much. Alright. 
go check this bay out. Alright, oh, just gonna walk down the Bitty Bitterkin bit Bay. Fuck stuff like that. Gonna walk down to Bitter Tang B Bay. There you go. Bitter Tang B Bay. That's where I'm gonna walk to. And I'll um, show you that. And there's a store, old storehouse up here, like an old ruin. So I'll just go and check that out as well. So this looks really nice down here. Really nice. There you go, I just ruined the scenery there, didn't I? I'm putting my head in it. Beautiful spot. Like, it's beautiful, all just so gentle and calm out here. Look, look out there. See that massive big fucking wave hit those rocks over there? In here, you wouldn't even know it was, it was like that bigger spot out there. And you've got this little, um, little estuary just running through here. Little cascade and waterfalls up here. Bloody nice. There's one for the uh, bloopers. I was checking out these, this fungal, and uh, went shit up, eh? Hey? I'm trying to get to this little waterfall, cascading little waterfall. Obviously, obviously to be fresh water. Tell you what, I haven't been disappointed. Everywhere I've been today has been on the money. Bloody spectacular. So if you're in the area, I'd you know pop down. Said massive amount of camping up here. 
there's probably 12 spots for caravans and campers and I don't know 20 odd for um, tents and that but yeah definitely um, worth coming and exploring this area yeah this is um this is the old bit of Tangerby um, storehouse or store um, they used to bring it in by boat and then um, we'll store it here this is all for the Green, Green Cape Lighthouse so they used to store it here until someone come and collected it um, this was built back in the 1880s apparently and um, it worked all the way through to about 1927 and uh, I was just reading there before apparently when they um, built the Green Cape Lighthouse they had a 7k long tram track that used to um, bring all the materials in which is uh, pretty crazy really so there it is the old store been out of action for a little while um, I went outside the national parks into the state forest there and just cut up a little bit of firewood I was a little bit shy to get me through the night um, now I'm heading back on a back track back down to the salt water uh, creek campground again uh, I really don't have time to get anywhere else so I'll head back down there and I'll get set up again and then in the morning I'll head off to Ben Boy Tower and the whale uh, whale station whatever they want to call it so that's the plans I think I might have found a shortcut to our uh, desk all right probably can't see me right about now but this is camp for the night I set up again pretty quick setup fire going yeah tad dark anyway we're good all good to go How good as that sound, eh? What a spot, what a night. Music, I reckon. That'll be the end of the um, filming, but.
Morning, everyone. So, Saturday morning, about 6.30, quarter to seven. I uh, had a little bit of rain last night. Just what you need when you need to pack up and going home, so anyway, all good. Get this live bird just going for it here. Crashing down 